Reach for the sky, boy. Daphne, I was just gonna leave it with the doorman. Oh, oh Lord. Should I say something? Well, actually, our doorman Mooring passed away this week. We just got back from the funeral. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Is she going to be all right? Well, uh, you know, she's been a little high strong all week, even before he died. So I guess it's just wedding stuff, you know. Yeah. Nah, nigga, that's Nile stuff right there. <laughs> that's what that is. Oh, what a beautiful garter. Look at all the lovely detail. I especially like the little odometer. <laughs> oh, don't be silly. I've been here enough times to know how to get the coffee made. Daphne, make us some coffee. <laughs> Kidding. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, bitch. Is there no place I can go without running into some guy I've dated? I was reading about a Trappist monastery in the Amazon that they somehow built into the treetop. <laughs> video about who's the loosest chicken TV series and whatnot. I didn't mention Roz, but Roz is like number two and number one. Going to a wedding with your boss is like going to the prom with your brother. Niles and I did not go to the prom together. <laughs> Our dates were sick and we went static. <laughs> Retrospect, yes, we should have cancelled the horse-drawn carriage, but hindsight is 2020. <laughs> no, no, they're not going to the prom together. <laughs> Our dates were sick and we went stag. You know, what does that expression mean exactly? We went stag. I've heard that before, but I've never, I never exactly knew what that meant. <laughs> You guys in the comment section what does that mean we went stag i've heard that four different times in my life i never asked because i was afraid of looking like a moron <laughs> dad this is 1945 chateau petrus oh yeah she said he got it from his uncle who was in france after the war but it's one of the rarest bottles in the world well if you're good maybe eddie will He's give you a lying. glass out of his half petrus is pretty rare as a matter of fact let me see i think that's like a, a 500 hundred dollar bottle okay i was wrong $16,000 bottle, $6,000, $4,000, woo. Oh, oh shit. shit, not I this I thought dude. you were in California. Yeah, well, those friends I went to surprise were out of town, so I decided to house it for them, which was lovely. Till they came home last night. I don't know what all the screaming was about. I was the one in the tub. <laughs> Yes, Mel and I are celebrating our six-month anniversary by uh, taking a little midweek getaway to our friend's country place. Yes, no phones, no stress, just two days of rest and relaxation. I do have to pick up a little anniversary gift, though, so give me nine minutes and meet me at the northwest corner of Pike and Elm at 4.42. Coming up on 4.33. Mm -hmm. Synchronizing. Now, good. <laughs> I'm relaxing already. <laughs> you know, not for nothing. She was actually perfect for Niles when you think about it. And the last time he stayed here, he killed a ficus tree on the downstairs neighbor's balcony by means which are best left to the imagination. <laughs> <laughs> These are the best left to the imagination. <laughs> best left to the imagination. <laughs> he killed a ficus tree by means of the best left to the imagination. <laughs> That's... That shit is hilarious. Oh, Mr. Cray. Oh, oh Daphne, <laughs> come on, come on now. It's only a bottle of wine. I, I don't even know much about it. Uh, Frazier, help me out here, will you? Well, Dad, the Chateau Petrus is a premier crew Bordeaux. No, no. <laughs> it's about your brother. You see, I know. Know what? I know about his feelings for me. My God! How did 
did you find out? No. Oh. Oh. You. It's not important. Somebody blabbed, didn't they? Why can't people just mind their own business? Who was the natural you. gossip? Roz? Dad? You. you. What? <laughs> I find myself thinking about him all the time. <laughs> Daphne, what you saying? What did I tell y'all? She always liked that nigga. Even if I did, he may not feel that way about me anymore. He's with Mel now. I don't know what to tell you, Jeff. Uh... Absence makes the heart grow fat. I'll get it. Well, it's ideal for me, really. Nice, cozy chair, plenty of time. I think the long... Oh, God, I can imagine him as the freaking doorman. What the uniforms do for the ladies, eh? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Memory serves a certain bellhop back in Manchester found that out with a young lady who will remain nameless. So oh, shit. <laughs> Speaking of which, Daphne, I borrowed your blow dry for my job interview. Uh, I spent an hour looking for that. I thought I was losing my mind. Well, that does happen to women in your condition, you know, in a family way. You're pregnant? I am not pregnant! <laughs> what, just another scare then, like that time back in school with that Pakistani chap? Right, that's it, you pig! Pig? You sound like you was kind of a hoe when you was a kid, Daphne. What the hell's going on with that? Would you like steak or salmon at my wedding? And by the way, I think I might be in love with you. <laughs> you find the words when the time comes, all right? Don't pretend you're not listening, Mrs. Richmond. Your laundry is not that interesting. Dennis! Come on, Roz, give Simon a chance. What, so he can stand me up again? I miss my sister's wedding? Never. If you're worried about my appearance, I know where I can get my hands on some very nice Armani suits. Or you can just grab one out of Fraser's closet. What do you think he was I talking about? I was just about, about to say that. I was just about to say that. But by the look of that smile on your face, I'd say somebody got himself a bit last night. <laughs> I find that remark rude, boorish, and impossible to deny. <laughs> <laughs> I find that comment rude, boorish, and impossible to deny. <laughs> I'm married. <laughs> married? Yes, Mel and I eloped yesterday. Well? See, I knew he got married to her, so I'm not shocked by it. I just didn't know exactly how it went down. <laughs> I'm delirious. <laughs> yeah, you'd have to be, wouldn't you? <laughs> Like, Dad, when will you learn to take a hand? I can't take a hand. Couldn't you see that Niles wanted to talk to you? Well, whatever it is, he can wait. Oh, yeah, no big deal. This he just got married, again? that's all. What? He eloped with Mel yesterday. Poor Daphne. Would you please get out of this, Mrs. Richmond? We have got to get back. What you mean, poor Daphne? She's engaged. She should be in love with somebody else. Poor Donnie. Dr. Crane. Yes, Daphne? Niles! <laughs> excited about the idea of being together and then I remembered your advice to stop taking baby steps through life <laughs> you see how his father looked at him you running your mouth again but he ain't say get married oh we can't keep something like this a secret we got married did you Damn. yes while we were out of town but the last thing we want is to upstage you and Donnie so we are not mentioning this outside this room <laughs> If he only knew. <laughs> that woman. I know <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I can't wait to see part two. Yo, that's crazy. So again, I know that Niles and Daphne ended up together because that's when I really started watching the show a lot. Um because there were times where I was watching and I got so frustrated with uh, the fact that, you know, they were taking so long to get these two together that I just stopped watching for a long time. So I missed a lot of this stuff. Um, so 
part two I gotta watch, and but part one was already funny. So going to see how this all unfolded here on the Nostalgic Reactions, all right? So I'll see you guys for part two of Something Borrowed. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification button, follow me on Twitter at A-Track Brown, the number 8, T-R-A-C Brown. Don't forget, get on Facebook, join the Hustle Fandom Group, all right? See you guys later. Peace.